वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फाइव कलर थियरम दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थियरम ऑफ ग्राफ थ्योरी थियरम स्टेट्स दैट एनी प्लानर कनेक्टेड ग्राफ इज फाइव कलर एबल दैट इज मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ कलर टू यूज अ प्लानर कनेक्टेड ग्राफ इज फाइव सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वट इज अ प्लानर ग्राफ सो अ प्लानर ग्राफ इज अ ग्राफ इन विच maximum degree of a vertex is 5 so degree of a vertex for a planar graph is always less than or equal to 5 so let g be a planar graph planar connected graph then a degree of v is less than or equal to 5 for all v belongs to g now here we discuss two main cases in the first case we consider a degree less than 5 mean degree maximum degree when uh, maximum degree is equal to 4 so degree less than 5 means degree may be 1 2 3 or 4 so in this case when degree of a vertex is less than 5 so as shown in figure we can easily use five color to uh, five color in this graph because here we have a vertex v in which maximum degree is 4 so all of other vertices have a degree less than 4 so whenever we color a graph so our focus is to color a graph in such a way that two adjacent vertices have different color so for coloring a graph adjacent vertices must have a different color so in this figure you can see that all adjacent vertices have a different color so maximum degree is 4 so when maximum degree is 4 we can use five colors to uh, five colors in a graph so this graph is five colorable when maximum degree of a vertex is less than or equal to 4 now we discuss another case the case in which maximum of uh, ma maximum degree of a vertex is equal to 5 so remember this is not a complete graph we are just considering that particular vertex in which maximum de uh, degree appears so when maximum degree is covered for rest of degrees which are less than maximum degree condition is always true so when degree of v is equal to 5 we have a vertex or more than one vertex is having de degree 5 so in this case we prove that graph always remains five colorable so we have a sub case 1 so a case we have a vertex of ma maximum degree equal to 5 as shown in figure so in this case we have a vertex v whose a degree is 5 so we prove that this graph is five colorable now in this case we say uh, we see that there are total number of six colors are used that is pink or red this is our first color this is our second color this is third fourth fifth and sixth color so total number of six colors are used so our aim is to reduce one color so because of a statement of the theorem is to use maximum of five number of colors so we need one free color so how can we find one free color so remember if any of these two vertices are not adjacent suppose a is not adjacent to c then we can use same color for a and c if b is not adjacent to d or b is not connected to d we can use same color for b and d so if any of these two vertices are not connected or not adjacent we can use same color so when we use same color we have one free color that is if we use green color uh, if a and c are not connected so we use same colors that is green for a and c so we have total number of 
five colors used in this graph. So let us explain this. If A and C are not connected, that is A is not adjacent to C, then we can use same color, say green color for both A and C as shown in figure. So when A and C are not connected, we can use same color for A and C. So now you can count that total number of five colors are used. So in this case, our graph is five colorable. So G is five colorable. Now we discuss another case. A case when A is connected to C, when A is connected to C, what happens? So again, consider we have a vertex, we have a vertex having maximum degree equal to five as shown in figure. And in this case, we discuss if A is adjacent to C. When A is adjacent to C, remember, if A is adjacent to C, this means there is an edge between A and C. Or there is an another, another possibility when there are more than one vertices between A and C, then we can form a chain between A and C that is AC chain or a red and green chain. So if more than one vertices are here uh, present between A and C, so we can may form a chain between A and C. So A and C may be directly connected or connected through different edges. So in both cases, we prove that total number of five colors are used. So if A is connected to C, then we may draw a c chain that is red green chain so what is red green chain i explain this in uh, next slide so since g is planar therefore a c chain will not allow any other chain to cross it now you can easily understand this concept from this graph if A is connected to C, that is, this is our AC chain. A and C may be directly connected or connected through different vertices. So if there is AC chain, then it means if A is connected to C, then B cannot be connected to D because this is a planar graph and in a planar graph, we know that edge crossing is not allowed. So if A is connected to C, then B cannot be connected to C. So in the first case, we proved that uh, if A was not connected to C, we proved that graph was five colorable. Now we consider the case when A is connected to C, then B cannot be connected to D because edge crossing is not allowed. So if this chain exists, A is connected to C, then B cannot be connected to C. Uh, B cannot be connected to D. So when B cannot be connected to D, we can use same color for B and D due to the fact that we can't connect B and D, we can use same color that is green color for vertex B and D as shown in figure. So in this figure, you can understand as there is an AC chain means A and C are connected. So B cannot be connected to D. So when B cannot be connected to D, so we can use same color for B and D. In this case, you can see that again, total number of maximum of five colors are used. So this graph is five colorable. So our main focus is to use minimum number of colors while coloring a graph. So we have to color a graph in such a way that any two adjacent vertices have different colors. So you can see that here pink and red are adjacent vertices. So we use different colors always. Also uh, pink and blue are adjacent. So different colors are used. Pink, green are adjacent. So for adjacent colors, uh, vertices, we use different colors. So in such a way, we uh, color a graph. So for a planar connected graph, maximum number of colors to be used are five colors. So 
any planar connected graph is five colorable.